So this is gonna be uh chapter sixteen. Uh, through 17, King James Version, 1611. So it's pretty, pretty short read today. Nothing too crazy. I don't know why my videos are not uploading. I don't know if that's purposeful or what, but uh, it's a video uploading while I'm making this one right now that I could have swore I uploaded it yesterday or the day before last even, so it's kind of weird. But anyway, Sarai, uh, being barren, giveth Hagar to Abram. Hagar, being afflicted for despising her mistress, runneth away. When the angel sendeth her back to submit herself and telleth her of her child, Ishmael is born. Now Sarai, Abram's wife, bare him no children, and she had a handmaid, an Egyptian, whose name was Hagar. And Sarai said unto Abram, Behold, now the Lord hath restrained me from bearing. I pray thee, go into thy. I pray thee, go in unto my maid. It may be that I may obtain, obtain children by her. And Abram hearkened to the voice of Sarai. And Sarai, Abram's wife, took Hagar, her maid, the Egyptian, after Abram had, had dwelt ten years in the land of Canaan, and gave her to her husband, Abram, to be his wife. And he went into, he went in unto Hagar, and she conceived. And when she saw that, that she had conceived, her mistress was despised in her eyes. And Sarai said unto Abram, My wrong be upon thee. I have given my maid unto thy bosom. And when she saw that she had conceived, I was despised in her eyes. The Lord judged between me and thee. But Abram said unto Sarai, Behold, thy maid is in thy hand. Do to her as it pleases thee. And when Sarai dealt hardly with her, she fled from her face. And the angel of the Lord found her by a fountain of water in the wilderness by the fountain in the way to Shur. And he said, Shagar, Hagar, Sarai's maid, whence camest thou, and whither wilt thou go? And she said, I flee from the face of my mistress, Sarai. And the angel And the angel of the Lord said unto her, Return to thy mistress, and submit thyself under her hands. And the angel of the Lord said unto her, I will multiply thy seed exceedingly, that it shall not be numbered for, for multitude. And the angel of the Lord said unto her, Behold, thou art with, ch with child, and shalt bear a son, and shalt call his name Ishmael, because the Lord hath heard thy affliction, and he will be a wild man. His hand will be against every man, and every man's hand against him. And he shall dwell in the presence of all his brethren. And she she called the name of the Lord that spake unto her. Thou God seest me, for she said, Have I also here looked after him that seeth me? Wherefore the well was called Ber, Berla, Berlahro. Behold, it is between Kadesh and Berid. And Hagar bare Abram a son, and Abram called his son's name, which Hagar bare Ishmael. And Abram was fourscore and six years old when Hagar bare Ishmael to Abram. And that's that. So I'm going to hop on over here to, uh, you know what, actually, I'm going to go ahead and knock this out, too. God renewed the covenant. Abram, his name is changed in token of a greater blessing. Circumcision uh, is instituted. Sarai, her name is changed and she blessed. Isaac is promised. Abram and Ishmael are circumcised.
And when Abram was 90 years old and nine, the Lord appeared to Abram and said unto him, I am the almighty God, walk before me and be thou perfect. And be thou perfect, and I will make my covenant between me and thee, and will multiply thee exceedingly. And Abram fell on his face, and God talked with him, saying, As for me, um, and God talked with him, saying, As for me, behold, my covenant is with thee, and thou shalt be a father of many nations. Neither shall thy name any more be called Abram, but thy name shall be Abram, Abraham. For a father of many nations have I made thee, and I will make thee exceeding fruitful, and I will make nations of thee, and kings shall come out of thee. And I will establish my covenant between me and thee, and thy seed after thee in their generations, for an everlasting covenant to be a God unto thee, and to thy seed after thee. And I will give unto thee and to thy seed after thee the land wherein thou art a stranger, all the land of Canaan, for an everlasting possession, and I will be their God. And God said unto Abraham, Thou shalt keep my covenant, therefore thou and thy seed after thee in their generations. This is my covenant, which ye shall keep between me and you, and thy seed after thee. Every man child among you shall be circumcised, and ye shall circumcise the flesh of your foreskin, and it shall be a token of your covenant betwixt me and you. And he that is eight days old shall be circumcised among you. Every man child in your generations, he that is born in the house, or bought with any money, bought with money of any stranger which is not of thy seed. He that is born in the house, and he that is bought with thy money, must need be circumcised and my covenant shall be in your flesh for an everlasting covenant and an uncircumcised man child whose flesh of the foreskin is not circumcised that soul shall be cut off from his people he hath broken my covenant and god said unto abraham as for sarai that wife, thy wife thou shalt not call her name sarai but sarah shall her name be and i will bless her and give thee a son also of her yah will bless her and she she shall be a mother of nations kings of people shall be of her then abraham fell upon his face and laughed and said in his heart shall a child be born unto him that is a hundred years old and shall sarah be that is ninety years old bear and abraham said unto god O oh, that israel that ishmael might live before thee and god said sarah thy wife shall bear thee a son and the de deed and thou shalt call his name isaac and I will establish my covenant with him for an everlasting covenant and with his seed after him. And as for Ishmael, I have heard thee. Behold, I have blessed him and will make him fruitful and will multiply him exceedingly. Twelve princes shall he beget, and I will make him a great nation. But my covenant will I establish with Isaac, which Sarah, Sarah shall bear unto thee at this set time in the next year. And he left off talking with him, and God went up for Abraham. And Abraham took Ishmael his son and all that were born in his house and all that were bought with his money every male among the men of Abraham's house and circumcised the flesh of their foreskin in the self. In the self same day as God had said unto him. And Abraham was 90 years old and nine when he was circumcised in the flesh of his foreskin. And Ishmael, uh, his son was there was 13 years old when he was circumcised in the flesh of his foreskin. And the self same day as Abraham circumcised and Ishmael his son, and all the men of his house born in the house and bought with money of the stranger was circumcised with him. So I just wanted to go and knock out another one. So that was uh, 16 through, uh, 16, through 18 so I just do that at the end so that way everybody can get like a screenshot just in case you know you can see the actual words because too many people they put up videos of them reading but you don't know what the fuck they're reading so anyway y'all keep God first have a blessed day